Hello. Hello. Darling. I have your stickers. Howdy, cowboy. I'll show them off later. I was gonna show off all the stickers I got. Missed you at TwitchCon. Yeah, thank you for sending... I don't know if they were your mods or viewers, but... Yeah, I had like two people stop by. <laughs> oh, that's loud. Oh, they were your mods, okay. Yeah, they were nice. Missed you. Had a lot of people stop by. <clears throat> oh man. Get this Twitch mug I bought from TwitchCon. How am I doing? I'm, pr I'm so tired. <laughs> I'm so tired. TwitchCon was tiring. When I asked one of them to drop, one off for you, they were like, wait, Tia yeah, types at TwitchCon, he was so hyped. Oh, <laughs> dang. It's good to know one of your mods knows me. Makes me feel good. <laughs> Whoa, like the whole, the rebranding, I kind of like it, I like it. I like this new font too, like the chat font looks different. Gotta get used to it, but I think the branding's, I actually like Twitch's new branding. I don't know how you guys feel. I don't know if you guys notice it, but... Hi. I don't know about the usability of it yet, but at least the aesthetics. I kind of like the aesthetics. But I'm not a designer by trade, so... Close enough to the old one. Yeah, I don't think it was like a massive change, but it's noticeable. Like you can definitely tell it's different. All right, I'm, I'm gonna go through all the subs. Ben, dude, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Mazers, welcome back for five months. Letter Ab, welcome back for four months. Or thank you so much for the three months. Krelbe, welcome back for seven months. Please consider GMK Sandstorm and we hit MLQ. I think. Hi Abdullah, welcome back for 4 months. In the AUS, welcome back for 7 months. Rooster, welcome back for 6 months. Enjoy your new... Holy! Rooster with the tier 3 sub for 6 months. Thank you so much. Enjoy your new uh, Blue Alps bat. Mr. Petrov, welcome back for 6 months. Mr. Tier 2, okay, wow. Dabaz, welcome back for 500... Uh, thank you so much for the 500 bits. Thank you so much. Uh, Caught... Caught water, thank you so much for the switch prime stuff. Snoop Doge, welcome back for nine months. Vinan, thank you so much for the two months. Tommy Crayons, welcome back for 10 months. I miss you, Tommy. Hallie's, welcome back for four months. I think we hit all of it. La Cody, welcome back for five months. Ooh, Tyler, hello. When will you announce the winner of the giveaway? Uh, we're gonna do it on stream. We're gonna pick a winner. There's a thing that lets you pick a winner on Twitter. Twitter, let me Google it right now. Twitter giveaway winner. Yeah, there's a thing you can use. I will announce the win winner for the giveaway on Twitter today. You can still enter if you guys haven't. Just go to my Twitter. It's one of my... I don't tweet that much, so it's one of the later ones. Did you get me any Yetis? Wait, I was supposed to get you Yetis, Lightning? I got a, I got an artisan for myself. I oh, can't focus. Yeah, Tiny stopped by on Sunday. Yeah, I got I got she had a she had a TwitchCon version. Oh, focus. Camera, please. Yeah, I'll go through everything I got from TwitchCon. My experiences, you guys can ask me questions. Yeah, just letting people roll in though. 
디드 올려보지 서바이브 트위치칸 Frisco Mo, welcome back for 8 months Muffins, welcome back for 6 months M Wale, welcome back for 8 months Oh, BT in the house Thank you for the sub, BT, welcome back for 3 months Obsidian Raid, welcome back for 2 months Did all your boards survive TwitchCon? <laughs> Someone actually dropped a board I'll talk about it I'll talk about it but no, yeah, everything, everything survived. Everything survived. How's everyone? Who went to TwitchCon? I know Tyler went. If you went to TwitchCon, type. Oh, wait, I have this. I'm stupid. Oh. If you went to TwitchCon, type yes in chat. Who went to TwitchCon? Did you go to TwitchCon? Oh dang, the majority of my viewers did not go. <laughs> See, this is why I didn't even bother applying for a meet and greet. None of my viewers went. <laughs> not that I'm famous enough for a meet and greet, but... <laughs> Dude, it's, it's a hard no for my viewers. <laughs> East Coast is rough. That's true. My viewers are pretty international. Yeah, my, my viewership is like surprisingly very internet. Or I mean, not it's not like fully international, but like it's a, it's a very widespread of viewers. Because everyone uses a keyboard. All right, looks like... <laughs> I don't... I think the number of yeses I saw in chat, I could probably count with my fingers. <clears throat> We're too poor from buying boards and group buys. <laughs> That's true. Keyboard people are poor from purchasing keyboard products. Whoa, Megan! Hello! Hi, Megan. Yeah, it was nice meeting you too. I'm sorry, I thought you didn't follow me. <laughs> Hope you had a good first one too. I'm excited for your vlog. Uh, guys, I got featured on Megan's vlog. If you guys watch Megan, be on the lookout. Were you allowed to sell some of your keyboards? Um, yeah, I sold products, but I didn't sell keyboards there. Did you just wake up? No, I woke up earlier, but my voice is gone from just talking so much. My voice was gone after day one. So everyone had so many questions. Yeah. Hopefully I can edit it fast enough. Do you edit all your videos, Megan? Or do you have editors? Yes, Megan is cool. Yeah, Megan's cool. Rip voice. Oh, hi, Apiary keyboards. Yeah, like... Like my, my booth, I thought wouldn't be wouldn't have a lot of people come by, but it was packed. I, I, le I legit didn't have time to look at my phone, to sit down. My voice was, my, yeah, my feet hurt so much during TwitchCon. Like my body was fine, I was fine. But my feet, I just wanted to cut it off because it hurt so much. I tried to edit, but I suck. Oh, I slept so much today. Yeah, I slept, I slept so well yesterday too. Uh, Eamsburg, welcome back for 8 months. Spold Cream Puff, welcome back for 4 months. Itinerary, welcome back for 4 months. Zaconas, welcome back for 7 months. You were wearing Chelsea's, you dingus. Hey, but they're... Uh, but the ones I have, they're like fairly comfortable. They're fairly comfortable. Ooh, we have Jayun too. What mouse mat is that? This mouse mat is the camping desk mat. GMK camping. It's a nice little scenic desk mat. I think this is probably my... This is probably my all-time favorite desk mat to use. Still nice and clean. Dixie Mac, hello! I am alive. 
I am alive, yeah. No, like, I'm not, I'm not tired. It's just my throat hurts and my feet hurt. <laughs> yeah. So aesthetic, your whole setup. Megan, please! All of Lamps, you guys all upgraded too. Your guys' houses, house and room look so nice. Except for maybe Peter's. <laughs> I like Peter, but Peter needs to work on <laughs> his setup. But he also seems to stream in like a little cramped corner. Or is that his like room? I don't know. I haven't fully caught up on the Lamps house people, but... Yours and Leslie's look nice. Alex, I'm not a fan of the green. <laughs> but maybe he has a green so he can green screen it? I don't know. You know. Ironfish, welcome back for three months. Alright. Yeah, so we can go through some of the stickers I got. Is your new desk a countertop or did you buy? Uh, the desk I have is a standing desk. He has a room in a room. Oh, okay, makes sense, yeah. You and Tyler come over? Yeah, invite us anytime. Tyler and I drive out to LA to hang out with all you LA streamers, so. Yeah, invite us. We'll, we'll definitely go. Tyler and I live fairly close to each other. And we, we don't mind driving out there, so. Oh, Eddie! Is that the Eddie? Is that who I think it is? Eddie, I'm excited. If it's the real, if it's the correct Eddie, I'm excited for what's gonna happen. So yeah, let's start off with some of some of my loot from TwitchCon. So I got a bunch of stickers and uh, business cards. Wait, Megan, did you have a sticker? I don't think I got one from you. I don't know if we exchange stickers. These are all business cards. Yeah. There's no Megan sticker. Bazat Gaming Gem, thank you so much for the two months. Deal. Wait, is that Matt Wauk? Is that who I think it is? Matt Wowzers? Yo, Matt, what the heck? Hoonigan was a TC. Oh, I didn't know we had car fans. Yeah, so Hoonigan, I don't know if they had a booth in the expo hall, but a rep of Hoonigan. I actually stopped by and uh, gave us stickers. It was pretty cool. He actually was like very interested in the keyboards and then he followed me as well. Uh, Andy! Andy's the guy. Not Ken Block, but Andy. Yeah, Andy stopped by my booth and he was actually very interested. I'm not a big car person. I would be if I had money, but... Car... Cars are way more expensive than keyboards. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but Andy was a real chill guy. He actually stuck around for a while and we, we talked quite a bit with him. Yeah. Alright. <sighs> Small, thank you so much for the $10. Anime. Ah, I'm not a big anime sticker fan. <laughs> Gus Spars, welcome back for three months. Yo, Gus, I remember you. I took a picture with you. Y'all, Moot, thank you so much for the Switch Prime stuff. Panda, welcome back for eight months. Yeah, let's go through the stickers, okay? So yeah, this is Darling. She's in chat right now. I think Darling sent me a couple. No, this is the only one. Oh, there we go. I got a Darling sticker and a Darling business card. Oh, okay, I have a question. Like, if you follow, if you follow someone already, do we, is it bad? Like, I follow Darling. So should I reject their business card? 
Or do I still accept it? Because, like, what do I do with this now? <laughs> like, it, it's not cheap to make business cards. It's a couple cents right here. So this is potentially someone else's business card I stole. Never reject it. Accept it if it's handed to you. Damn, all right. I'll keep it. Yeah, that... I don't know what to do. I've never had business cards of my own, so I was handing out business cards, but... When friends were giving me business cards, I was like... But I already follow you, what do I do? I just have to... It just takes up space now. I'm, I'm not I'm not flaming, darling. It's just the first one that I happen to pick up right now. No, no. But yeah, this, I'm just showing off darling stuff. Yeah, it's also nice to see what people's um, designs are and what kind of aesthetics they like. Darling's is pretty. She even has a QR code. I'm a software engineer. I'm an ex software engineer. And I don't even know how to set up a QR code. This is big brain. But yeah, everyone go check out Darlene. Um, she's a great singer. She actually ha she's also she actually has like a big community as well. She's like a very community focused streamer, I think. Yeah, pretty cute sticker as well. Use a QR code generator, or is that a thing? I don't know. I've never dealt with QR codes in my work. Can I scan it from my stream? Oh, wait, that's big brain. All right. For those of you guys who don't follow... Oh, wait, this is a bad angle. Everyone, scan scan your screen right now. Go follow Darlene. Scan it right now. All right. Yeah, so that's Darlene. Um, we also had Veil stop by. I don't know if you guys play Overwatch. But Veil, I don't play Overwatch, but supposedly he's a pro player, mains Mercy. He was he was actually very interested too. Yeah, Veil was very interested. I don't know. Oh, actually, he gave me a lot of stickers. Holy crap! <laughs> I have three Veil stickers. Yeah, I don't play Overwatch. I didn't know who he was, but one of my uh, booth helpers knew who he was. Stickers are expensive? Stickers are expensive, yeah. And so are business At least the business cards I got, they were expensive. But I think it was worth it. A lot of people liked my business cards. I had some people come up to me and say they were willing to pay for my business card. I was like, I mean, if you really want to pay, but... Uh, Remdel, welcome back for five months. Thank you. And Robert Tables, thank you so much for the four months. Thanks for being cool to my stream friend that was live streaming. Oh, I remember. Yeah. And I said I recognized your name to him, Robert Tables, if, if I remember correctly. Yeah. I wonder who has to make remake his business card after rebranding. Ooh, Zombomon. Wait, how many... How many business cards do you have left over, Zombomon? Alright, next sticker. Peter. Peter has a really nice sticker. I like his sticker. <laughs> V-cute. V-cute. Has the nice matte finish that I like as well. Very nice. Yeah, meeting Peter was so great. I met him for the first... I met a lot of people for the first time at TwitchCon. Man, Peter's such a nice guy. He's someone I want to... He's just as interesting in person as well as he is online. Like, interesting in a good way, not in a bad way, I mean. But he's so nice. We, uh, we talked about... He stopped by twice to my booth. And uh, we talked about Peepo. This cute little cat. This cute cat though. I want a, I want a cat too, but never. Yeah, I live with my parents, and they don't like cats, or they don't like pets in general. It feels bad. He still has 1.9k of them. Oh man, <laughs> that's a lot. Yeah, people are so cute, Megan. I'm so jealous. Yeah, I've wanted a cat since college. 
I like both cats and dogs, but I think a dog is too much for me right now. Like, I probably can't give it the attention it would need. But cats are very independent. So I'll, I feel like a cat would be a good... Like it's a good pet for like a streamer house. Next up, we have Mitsu. I met Mitsu for the first time as well. Arrow Spiritual, welcome back for two months. Oh, thank you so much for the tier two sub. Whoa. I don't think, have we ever raided Mitsu? I don't think we've raided Mitsu, but yeah, you guys should also check Mitsu out. She was on streamer camp. Yeah, I got to meet her for the first time as well. She's really nice. Also tall, I didn't realize how tall she was. Cats will knock over your keyboards. My keyboards are heavy though. Keyboards are heavy. All right, next. I actually don't know where this is from. <laughs> Dre is blue. I don't know how I got this sticker. I don't know what this person does, but I have his sticker for some reason. Dre is blue, go check them out. And then the last three, ooh, we also have three Celine stickers. Celine also stopped by, Star Smitten. We've raided her a couple times as well, I think. Yeah, she was also super nice. Everyone's so nice in person. I mean, I'm not, not that they're mean online, but I feel like people in general, it's, I don't know, it's, it's different when you meet them in person. It's just a lot nicer, more homey, cozy, personable. Caitlin Rachel, welcome back for two months. I remember you. I know who you are, Caitlin. Yeah, thank you for stopping by. It was nice meeting you too. Be mean at TC next time? Should I be that one guy who's mean? IRL. Can you recommend an artisan box? I use the evil box from KB Republic. Uh, Fonzie, welcome back. Or thank you so much for the Twitch Prime set. All right. Hoonigans. Let's take out some of the business cards. Okay, the business cards time. So whoops. We've built a keyboard for whoops, if you guys remember. He actually got like an official like this is this isn't whoops's business card, but Twitch actually made this for him. Because whoops is an OP streamer, I guess. So yeah, this is actually like this is a business card Twitch made for whoops to hand out. And I got it. Hand signed by Whoops as well. That's Whoops' signature if you want to plagiarize it. There you go. Yeah, I don't know how you qualify for this, but I guess Whoops is a big deal. Visuals by Impulse. Uh, they're a design studio that stopped by. Uh, they do like graphics. One of them watches me and they said, if I ever wanted graphics, I should reach out to them as well. Pirate Software. I think they are an indie uh, game company. They make indie games. And they also stop by. So they actually, they actually code the entire process on stream. So if you want to know how an indie game is made, I. I guess check them out. I talked to them for a bit as well. Uh, the real Scooby Doo, welcome back for two months. Thank you, thank you. Hope you had a good Twitch can experience. Any really good switches you see underutilized? Underutilized? Ah, uh, underutilized. Ergo clears. Ergo clears have kind of died out with the whole tactile craze. Ergo clears are nice. Um, I personally also like lubed mod M's. There used to be a phase where people called them God M's. 
But yeah, with the Holy Panda craze and Zeal V2s, uh, people kind of stopped caring about light tactility switches. Light, light tactile switches. And yeah, I, I'm personally a big fan of MX Browns, assuming they're smooth. If they're scratchy, I don't like it, but if they're smooth, they're nice. Yo, Raymond, hello! How are you doing, Raymond? Hope you made it back home safely. Or unless you're in San Diego still. I also met Raymond IRL in person. I ignored him initially because I didn't know who he was. And then I saw his name tag, I was like, oh shoot, that's, that's who you are. <laughs> yeah, it's always interesting because you have no idea what some people look like. Then you see their username and you're like, oh, that's who you are. Yeah. Alright. Beast Troll MC, a good friend of Teha Types. This is Beast Troll's business card. I got it signed by him as well. Beast Troll MC. So Beast Troll is actually the reason why I made a business card. Because I was talking to Beast Troll, he was like, Yo, you need a business card. So I made a business card last minute. I'm kind of glad I did. My business cards actually, people actually, I'm surprised people grab business cards still. I thought like, I thought like people don't use business cards anymore, but apparently people do. Yeah. So cool meeting Twitch chat IRL, yeah. Ditto. Hoonigan, Kitamoto, yep, Hoonigan stopped by my booth. I follow Andy, and Andy follows me now too. Um, it's Kuroi, welcome back for 13 months. RC Angel, thank you so much for the bits. Polyzoo, welcome back for 13 months. 13 months. Business cards are cheap. Ah, because you get cheap business cards. KB Warriors. I mean, Curlbit, sorry. My business cards were kind of expensive. <laughs> but I think I think it was a good investment. So this is actually Whoops's business card. This like this is the one he was handing out. Yeah. Whoops. See, that's another thing. I feel like for like social media people, business cards. It's hard to make a nice business card. Because like you're it's like, I mean, I'm not trying to flame Whoop specifically, but like all of us, like usually you have the same name on all the platforms. So it's like kind of redundant, you know, like do we, do social media people really need business cards? I don't know. I still made it, but yeah, just, I'm just rambling right now. All right. Who's this? Embrace the tilt. What? Embrace the tilt. Tilted nation. Uh, maybe they're an esports company or something. I don't know. Kind of forgot what they did. Did I already show yours? Uh, I could show mine. Ooh, this is kind of nice. Invest in your hair. It's the, it is the crown you never take off. Oof, that's deep. So this is actually Trina's card. Trina Noen. She also streams under the username Dumpling Trina. This isn't her stream, but this is her actual job. Uh, jerk chicken, thank you so much for gifting a sub. I also... Hero's Hearth? Is this Hearthstone related? Don't remember? Time to fix your gray hair, GG. <laughs> Ian Workhorse Anderson. Oh, this guy's the owner. Okay, I sh I don't I forgot what they did though. I'm sorry. And then last one that I have. Ooh, this kind of spooky. Glitch bun. 
I believe they were also a fellow exhibitor. Yeah, follow Glitchbun. My business card. Yeah, I can show off my business card. Dosh Pikov, welcome back for six months. No, I today's stream is going to be short. I have dinner plans, so I have to leave. But yeah, we will definitely finish Man of Medan some other time. So this is my business car. My business car is pretty simple though. It's just yeah, types on one side. Oh, I took out two. Whoops. It's just yeah, types on one side. But what I like about my business card is the the finish, the finish and the the thickness. Like I don't know if it's visible, but like my card, my business card was V thick. I paid for a nice finish. I think I think my business card was like twenty something thick. And like it's it's hard to you can't see it online, but it's got like a nice matte velvety finish. It has a very nice soft touch. Yeah. Yeah, I should have taken more though. So I, I could have potentially handed out all my business cards and stickers on the first day. Like there was there was that much foot traffic, but also that many people interested, who actually like took the time to stop by my booth and check everything out and see what it's about. So that was that was really cool to see. I took, I took around seven hundred business cards and around 1,300 Teotype stickers. And yeah, like I had to just cut it off at the halfway point after day one because I don't want to be left without business cards for the two remaining days. Man, there was, there was so many people. I wasn't expecting that much foot traffic to happen. It's my first kind of con ever. Like I've never been to Anime Expo or KCON or any of those kind of conventions. So it's, it's an eye-opening experience. Um, we also had a lot of big companies stop by. Um, I think Intel, someone from Intel was very interested in the, in the work we did. Um, Corsair also stopped by. Kind of seemed like they were doing market research. They wanted to see what the competition was like. Who else? Who else? Uh, I think I think both TSM and Liquid. I don't know if they're like reps, but people from Liquid, Team Liquid, and TSM also were kind of like interested in seeing if a collab was possible. Um, yeah, there are, there are a lot of people that came by. They were actually interested because they. Yeah. Corsair is going to hunt you down. Corsair releases a $1,000 keyboard next day. <laughs> they sending an assassin next. Um, it's exhausting interfacing with that many people, but it sounds like it was good exposure. Yeah, it was. Um, that's I think that's that's the primary reason why I signed up for the Artist Alley. Um, I didn't really go to sell anything, but I just wanted it mostly to be a way for people to just play around with the keyboards. I, I knew going into it, I was probably going to get my stuff dirtied. People were likely going to damage something, but like it's hard to know what customs are like or what a nicely built keyboard is like until you actually until you actually hold it in your hand or like type onto it. 
Um, people obviously couldn't really tell how nice it sounded because the convention was so loud, but um, yeah, I, that, that was main. That was the primary reason for signing up for the Artist Alley, just exposure and get people to experience it in person. Cause you, like what I do on stream, it's hard to tell what the final product's like until you actually have it. Semi Chug, welcome back for two months. Stay bullish stuff. Thank you so much for the four months. Welcome back. Did the Bauer survive? Ooh, Dixie, I don't know. Did it survive? We will see. Uh, were you surprised by how many people weren't aware of what a key quality keyboard can feel like? No, I mean, I wasn't surprised that people had never felt a nice custom like this. What I was surprised though, there are still a lot of people out there. Oh shoot. <laughs> Chortle my Squirtle. Wait, what? You gifted tier 2 subs. Holy moly. Chortle my Squirtle. Thank you so much for gifting 5 tier 2 subs. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, yeah. I was surprised at how many people still use membrane keyboards. Um, I don't think you can expect an average person to know what a nice custom is, but there's still tons of people who had never used a mechanical keyboard before, who thought membrane or rubber dome is all that it's out there. There was also one person, one person at the last day didn't know what a keyboard was. And I was like, what? Like you can, <laughs> you can, you might not know this is a nice mechanical keyboard, but it still looks like a keyboard, you know? No, they weren't trolling, like they legit weren't trolling. They came by, they were touching this, and they were like, what is this? And I was like, how do I, how do I break it to them? <laughs> how do you not know what a keyboard? <laughs> yeah, it's kind of, it's it kind of interesting. <laughs> and they break, <laughs> how old are they? They were actually, they weren't a kid. They were not a kid. They were at least in their 20s, I think. No, 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 they weren't, I swear, they're not, I, I'm not trolling, one person legit asked me, what is this? <laughs> yeah. No, they were, they were dead ass serious, I swear to god. What's your keyboard? <laughs> TKO, welcome back for two months. Thank you. Were they Amish? I don't know. I mean, if you're maybe Amish people have never seen keyboards. I don't know. Yeah, that was interesting. <laughs> All right. Um, so that's the that's it for stickers. What else did I get? Yeah. So I showed these off already. I got two artisan keycaps from Tiny. So this is actually a special TwitchCon themed colorway she made just for TwitchCon. Hmm, it's a little too... Okay, my pinky fits perfectly. It's too big for my index though. very happy with the purchase. I like Tiny's work and I got two of them. You didn't get the Yeti one? Um, as far as, or when she stopped by my booth, all the Yetis she had were single shot. So I wasn't too interested. I mean, I think personally, I like these over single shot Yetis. So I purchased these. Yeah. We featured uh, Tiny stuff quite a bit on my stream. If you guys don't know who Tiny is, go follow her. She streams on Twitch as well. Artisan keycap maker. <clears throat> uh, what else? Oh, yes. I had Andy Zero give me a pen. I don't know if you guys in chat know who Andy Zero is. He mods 
He's a moderator for a number of, how do I open this? He's a moderator for a number of channels. I don't know if he's watching me right now, but yeah, I talk to him quite a bit when I watch other streamers. Yeah, Sarah's mod, yeah. Yeah, there were actually, yeah, Andy Zero was at TwitchCon. Uh, Cheongi was at TwitchCon. I also met Grand A. Yeah, they're all like, they all stream, they're all mod a lot of streams. So it's cool to see. I think they traveled from England. So yeah, it was really nice to meet them. I don't know when else I would meet uh, streamers overseas. So that's, that's really cool. Yeah, he came by my booth and he was like, here, I brought, you can have a pen. So I was like, okay, cool. What? It doesn't cl Oh, I got a twist. <laughs> so it has a ruler on one side. You twist it. It has a... It has one of those leveling bubble thingies over there as well. And he told me... We have a screwdriver on the other side. Oh, Yeah, it has a flathead screwdriver. Kind of wish it was Hex or Phillips. You don't really use flatheads a lot for keyboards. Well, it's pretty functional. I... Not too bad, not too bad. Easily coolest TwitchCon gift I've seen. Can't, no, I can't take out the bit. Can I take out the bit? Ooh! What? You can! Wait, this is big brain. Alright, we have a Phillips head screw there too. Holy moly, what? This is big brain. Yo, this is big brain. So I can use both Phillips and Hex. I'll probably leave it on the Hex. I mean, uh, Phillips head. Yeah, and then here, I guess this is for stylus use. I don't use a stylus though. I don't have a tablet or anything. Where can I get one? I'm not sure. Uh, I got this gifted by Andy Zero. Thank you, Andy, if you're watching or if you watch the vlog. Thank you. This goes in my my cup of stationaries. I have a cup of stationaries here. I'm not a big pen person, but. I just have it here in case I ever need to write. What else? What else? Mm. We also had, uh, do you guys know Loco Doco? if you guys are in chat? Uh, Lundu and Goalie David, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. So Loco Doco apparently stopped by my booth but I was not there. Uh, slightly musical held a held a lunch for his VIPs and tier three patrons uh, yesterday, and I went to that to hang out with them. And he stopped by, but Loco Doco left me he left me a a love letter. Yeah. Thank you, Loco, if you're watching. I don't know if you're watching. I me I messaged him on Twitter as soon as I saw the message, but he couldn't stop by afterwards. I couldn't get a pick with Loco. But yeah, Loco seems like he's also very interested in keyboards. What do we have next? All right. I got this uh, from someone on Skep. Skepter? Skep. Don't know what they gave me. Skepter. Do you guys know their monitors? Do they make good monitors? They told me they make monitors. Should I purchase their monitors, guys? They're pretty budget oriented. Ah, oh. budget. Oh, it's pronounced scepter. 
Did you get that knife from drop? No, this is not from drop. You can type in exclamation knife if you want to know where I got it. They are budget. Oh, they're budget. Wait, so if they're budget, maybe I should just get one to have as like a chat panel, right? I don't I don't need a whoa, what the fudge? Skeptics. I don't need a nice monitor for just having Twitch chat on. That's not a ball. Okay, so it's Scepter. Oh, this is a real life Pokeball I can charge. All right, you guys ready? Oh, what the? What is this? Oh, it doesn't op doesn't open. No, I think this is a battery bank. It's a battery bank. Yeah, it takes one point. Oh, one amp output, eh, 2.4 amp, eh. It's a novelty. <laughs> yeah, I'm guessing this is how you turn it on. It looks cool. I don't know how functional it is. It's a rather not functional shape for a battery bank, but. Deadpool, I am me, you are you. Thank you so much for the eight months. Welcome back. Lol's what dab for me, son? You want me to dab? I'll give you a dab. The best of dabs is the mini dab. Have you ever heard of the mini dab? No, so what you guys are spamming in chat is the normal dab. But the mini dab is this. That's the mini dab. All right. Yeah, I don't know. Should I put this on the shelf? Does this deserve a spot on the shelf? There's many types of dabs, guys. Have you heard of the invisible dab? It's, it's, it's a it's a deeply guarded trick only known to magicians this is the invisible dab oh you couldn't even see it all right let's try putting this pokeball in the back Chat's blocking it. <laughs> yeah, it's actually completely round, so it doesn't stay. Display it in the box? Oh, I guess I could. for the gift scepter I will probably never use it out in the wild but it's a cool novelty thing how much did it say how much oh, it doesn't say how much it can store all right and the next thing we got Ta -da! 
I got a goodie bag from Stream Elements. You ever consider selling your used basketball shorts on Patreon? Would buy? Yeah, okay, you lie. <laughs> got a drawstring bag from Stream Elements. What do we get? Ooh, we got socks. We got some Stream Elements socks. Stream Elements, I checked out their booth. They had a double decker booth. Maybe I, I'll show you guys pictures later. Ooh. Got a t shirt. Oops. What what is even on here? I see Draven. I don't recognize a lot of these characters. But it's okay, it doesn't matter. What else? Ooh. Got three stream elements pins. Neat stuff. Neat stuff. Thank you, stream elements. I personally use Stream Elements for now, but Stream Elements, Stream Labs, both awesome people. Oh, Mitch! Thank you. What? Mitch? Wait, I didn't know you were a tier 3 sub. What the heck? Thank you for the three months. Okay, what else? What else? I think this is the last of the loot from Twitch. Am I building a keyboard today? I'm not building a keyboard today. Uh, I have dinner plans, so just a short stream today. All right. So if you were a partner, you got this Twitch jersey. So I got a jersey from Twitch. I don't really wear jerseys, but kind of cool, I guess. I saw a couple people wearing it. I like the packaging though, it's a nice bag. And then I bought a, just bought a commemorative shirt. Twitch 2019, San Diego. This will probably end up being my pajamas. I don't know. I don't know if I'll wear like Twitch apparel on stream a lot. That's why the only this is the other thing I bought, but it's like doesn't really look scream Twitch. It's a gray and white thing, just a simple Twitch logo. Can I have it? I'm trying to sneak. What? Sugar lump gift the earlier sub to Dalian. This is the first gift sub in the channel. Thanks for gifting a sub, Sugar lump to Darlene. Thank you, thank you. All right, that's it for uh, the merch I have, or the stuff I got from TwitchCon. Oh wait, one more, one more. So this was my badge. This was the badge people got. If you were an artist in the artist alley, they gave you the special artist pin. They gave this to us on the last day though. It kind of sucked. <laughs> They didn't have it made and ready until day three, so that's okay. At least we got a pin. Yeah. Teha types. Exhibitor got me special passes. Partner. Oh man. Also, I don't know how people. Man, the lines were crazy. Yeah. Like if you if you aren't a partner or. An exhibitor, the lines for picking up your badges, it was insane. Like exhibitors got a special line so we could set up our booths on time and everything, but I couldn't imagine how chaotic it would have been if you didn't have the exhibitor pass. People were losing it because they ran out of a bunch of stuff and they were giving single people like three to four swag bags. Uh, 
yeah i don't know people, it's, a, it's a crazy event they still made it happen it seems like a lot of work but people at twitchcon they did a good job organizing it this year and then i got this prime quest book never really used it if you use if you're a amazon prime holder they gave you a ten dollar voucher for merch so that's why i got the mug because i got ten dollars off and you also got a ten dollar discount on food the food was pretty expensive the food actually wasn't bad i tried they had like a tri-tip nacho that i got it didn't taste bad it was expensive yeah i thought it went good yeah, I mean, I, I don't have a reference since this was my first TwitchCon ever, but had a great time, had a great time. Evan, welcome back for seven months. How are you doing? TwitchCon is for noobs. Real pros go to MixerCon. Nice. MixerCon's legit going to be Ninja and all his squeaker fanboys. Ocular, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. All right, shall we? Shall I go through story time and just talk about what I did? Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. It's time for keyboard gore. So here's my here's my number two. Did Maddion play at TwitchCon? Yeah, Maddion and Blink One Eighty Two played at the TwitchCon party, which was open to anyone who purchased a ticket. And you also had to be, oh, Logic too, yes, Logic. And you had to be over 21. Uh, Lil Nas was supposed to be there, but Lil Nas canceled. I don't think Dragon Force, did Dragon Force play? I know Dragon Force was at TwitchCon, but I don't think they played. I left early. I'd pick Logic over Lil Nas. Yeah, same too. I mean, the only song I really wanted to hear live was Old Town Road. It's the only thing I really cared about from Lil Nas, but... I, I've been following Logic since before he blew up, so... Ooh, I have left it uncleaned. Look at this. Oh baby. The finger grease of everyone who touched it this weekend. Yeah, he canceled because I couldn't come and we couldn't do our collaboration. <laughs> oh, look at that. How much for you to lick it? <laughs> if someone if someone drops a thousand dollar donation, I'll lick this. Yeah. Thankfully I I went to TwitchCon thinking someone would actually try to like pick it up and then drop it off the table onto the ground. That didn't happen, so I consider that a win. Yeah, like I, I fully went into TwitchCon thinking someone was going to drop this on the ground and the stainless steel was going to crack, but it made it a one piece. Yeah, I'll clean it later. But it went through a lot. It went through a lot. Did you buy insurance? Insurance for what? I don't think you could, I don't think you could buy insurance for. Could you have bought insurance for TwitchCon? I don't. I actually don't know. Oh, you can. Oh, okay. Eh. It's okay. You could clean it now because the oils can be corrosive. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's a coating on this, so I don't think I have to be too worried about that. But yeah yeah but i mean the main reason why i got why i went to go for the artist alley 
was because I wanted to let people try it out. Like, unless you're an enthusiast who has owned a custom or built one yourself, if all you know are off-the-shelf gaming keyboards, you can't really fully understand and comprehend how nice some of these keyboards are until you hold it in your hand. And I, I took one for the keyboard community. Most of the keyboards there were my personal collection. Like this is a personal board. The only non-personal boards that were on display were the two Bowers and the, uh, the Key Cult, uh, the Warcraft themed keyboards. The rest were all personal boards. And I just wanted to let people try it out, see if it was worth it to them. And if they liked it, they'll hopefully come back and view my streams. The weight is the only thing that threw me off. Yeah, the weight, it's like a lot of people said that um, they came up, they said they've been watching me for a while and like I weigh all my keyboards on stream and you can see numbers, you can see that a keyboard is like two pounds, four pounds, five pounds, but it's not until you pick it up and you're like, oh, okay, this is hefty. <laughs> so yeah. I uh, think Taehyung, you got the Peak Design bag. Yeah, I'm a big, uh, I'm a big Peak Design fan. I love their bags. Yeah. What was the board that was given away? Ah. Oh, that's story time too, huh? So that board, I was supposed to give away a board at KeyCon, or uh, TwitchCon. Um, it ended up not coming in time, so we couldn't give it away at TwitchCon. KeyCult and I are trying to decide how to give it away. We're still gonna give it away somehow. It just won't be a TwitchCon thing. We'll see, yeah. Still trying to figure that out. Uh, for what? Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Uh, Zeal Stab's worth it or GMK is just fine? I think GMK is just fine. If you like the aesthetics of Zeal Stab's, then go for Zeal Stab's. Yeah. Someone dropped a canoe on my queue. One of my helpers brought his canoe. And it's a canoe with a brass weight. Brass weights are kind of rare for a canoe. So it wasn't an aluminum canoe. And that canoe clipped my queue. But thankfully, no dent, I think. There was a slight uh, scratch, but that was about it. Yeah, it is what it is. And that's all that happened. <laughs> yeah, the queue's okay. There's a small scratch on the front, but that's about it. <laughs> Born to relax, thank you so much for the five months. San Diego, it was humid the first day, but it actually cooled down a lot day two and day three, so it was very nice. Uh, the venue was also uh, very well air conditioned, so yeah, it was actually a really nice venue. Um, I mean, I've been to San Diego multiple times. I love the food at San Diego. San Diego's got great food, uh, great beaches if you get to stop by. Yeah, San Diego's a nice city. Um, who won the Alice? I haven't give, announced the winner yet. We're going to pick the winner on stream in a bit. Yeah. Did you guys all get to see my Insta stories? Did you get Phil's barbecue? No, I didn't get Phil's barbecue. Rapney, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Were there other people who didn't see my Insta stories? I mostly updated through Insta stories instead of Twitter. You guys didn't see? Okay. All right, we'll go through story time. Or not story time, but we can go through some of the pictures I took. All right. So I arrived on Thursday. A lot of people said some spots was too air conditioned. Raymond, you can never have too much AC. 
I love that. I would. I love the cold. Ah, B Hallmark. Thank you so much for the two months and Yadisi T. Welcome back for three months. Let me turn off my internet so I don't get messages. How do I show pictures? Huh. Can I just show it through my phone? So yeah, I arrived. I arrived on Thursday, early. Um, that was my booth, what it looked like. Everyone was setting up. All the uh, exhibitors got to come on Thursday to set up early. Um, I, ooh, let me, I had a prime spot, guys. I, I was right next to, uh, what the heck happened though? I was right next to an exit. I was, uh, the food court was literally right next to my booth. Um, and I was literally the only booth like in my row. So yeah, I had a lot of visibility and yeah, I, I had a really good spot. I don't know how, I don't know if there was like a process for placing s booths in certain places or if it was just completely RNG, but yeah, I had a really nice spot. Okay, so that was that. Um, yeah, I don't know if you guys watched my last stream before TwitchCon, I had to end the stream early to pick up my banner. That's the banner I got made. It's from, I got printed last minute from FedEx. Yeah, I just got a nice tail types banner made. If you had to leave the venue ASAP, which keyboard would you take over the others? Probably my number two. Uh, So yeah, they had a section. Oh, so the artist alley was also right next to the loot cave, which is where you could buy Twitch merch. So I just took a picture there. They had a lot of merch you can purchase. Um, and TwitchCon was already, they already had the new branding guidelines uh, graphics. So everything, I think most of the merch were already with the new graphics. A lot of the signs and everything, they were already rebranded to have to follow the new Twitch guidelines. Yeah. It's another picture. Yeah. So I set up on Thursday. Oh. Set up on Thursday. And then went to the Airbnb afterwards. So this is the Airbnb I was at. So that's Tyler.dev over there. Yo, the Airbnb was actually really nice. It was it was big. It was a nice Airbnb, but that was the living room. We had two couches. We also had a great view out the window. Massive, it was massive windows, two's compliment. Oh, two's compliment, hello. Yeah, it was a massive window. Um, Tyler's a little bit taller than me. I'm 5'8". Tyler's probably like 5'9", five 5'10", five so it's a massive window. Um, it was a two floor setup, and then down the hallway, that's the kitchen, dining table, and there was a full bathroom there as well. We had one bed on the top. And there was also another full bed bathroom over there. Yeah, yeah, the, the Airbnb was nice. Oh, there's the bathroom. Ish. That's the bathroom. Yeah, and there were two of these bathrooms um, and we shared it with uh, I Airbnb'd with Tyler.dev he's the guy who helps me with my bots that you guys see on stream uh, Christopher Yi another great streamer also streamer camp and one of Chris's friends so the four of us split this place it was really nice it was a really nice Airbnb and Chris handled finding all that so Thank you, Chris, for handling. Did you move? Yeah, I'm in SoCal now, Pudzi. Utilizing that iPhone 11 wide cam? Yo, <laughs> I think that's the greatest thing about the iPhone 11, the wide angle cam. <laughs> oh, and the battery life. Battery life, wide angle cam, that's about it. Yeah, all right. 
Um, oh yeah. So if you guys remember my early picture, um, I only had this table there. So um, one of my helpers, Enom TV Howard. I don't know if you're watching, but he went out to Home Depot last minute to purchase a second table for me to use so we could have this nice uh, little mini meetup setup and yeah they cleared out everything here so right here was the food court and then there was the exit there as well so yeah this is what i'm talking about so all the booths uh there was a whole row here but my row i was literally the only person in this row and i faced the meet and greet section so if you were going to a meet and greet if you turned around my booth was right there so yeah i had a I had a Sugoi Prime Spot um, location. Yeah, Howard, if you're watching, he was a huge lifesaver. He bought the desk and then went to the venue close to like 10 p.m. or something to place it down before the day of, so he could have a have a better setup. Yeah, uh, Yaya YouTube, thank you so much for the tier one sub. Okay, so this was the TwitchCon. Oh, this was the partner party, which also occurred the day before. Um, it was held at the Music Box in San Diego. And that's just me. I took a picture before entering and going through security. Um, so Dylan Francis was playing. I don't know if you guys listen to Dylan Francis. Um, so I, I have a theory. No one knew it was Dylan Francis because the demographic of Twitch streamers probably don't listen to Dylan Francis. <laughs> it was it was kind of sad. Like people, there was no one on the dance. Like the only person who was dancing on the dance floor was Foosley. I saw Sushi Dragon dancing for a little bit. Uh, that's about it. <laughs> yeah, no one knew. I don't know if no one knew or they just knew but didn't care for it. Um, yeah, it was a very barren dance floor. Yeah. <laughs> um, Majority of Twitch's listening is anything Monster Cat related. Yeah. But supposedly, normally for TwitchCon the past years, they allowed plus ones to the partner party. Uh, this year, they didn't allow plus ones in for the partner party. So, which is why I would also. That's another thing people were speculating. Like, if you're gonna dance with someone, it's mostly going to be with your plus one. Like you wouldn't go, it's kind of weird if you just go to a partner party and you just dance with strangers, if that makes sense. I mean, people do that, but like the partner party is kind of meant for like networking as well. And they didn't allow plus one, so you're just, everyone just kind of went there alone. So that's another thing, I guess. But yeah, at the partner party, I hung out with uh, the offline TV folks. Got to meet some of the people there. Uh, ooh, we took a picture with Sunday Moo, sorry, Avocado Peel, or Sarah of Sunday Moon. Got to meet her in person. Really, really nice person. Yeah, it's great to see her finally. Yeah, we were, we were both like super awkward because we're not like really plugged in with like offline TV folks but like we like talk to both of us talk to Albi a lot so Albi helped us yeah she got partnered just in time yeah yeah Albi helped us get like plugged in and everything we're both like Albi's protégés I don't know <laughs> yeah all right day of started setting up the tables uh, Dixie Mech sponsor of mine obviously took both bowers um, Dixie also had a little business card made for himself 
those flew off like hotcakes. What else? Yeah. So I gave Dixie Mech sponsor of mine, so I put him right in the front. Dixie also had a nice little section because he had like Dixie knows his aesthetics. He knows how to do stuff. He had like a little placard made, uh, some key cult keyboards over there. You can see the Alliance and Horde keyboard over there as well on display. So that was that. Um, novel Keys. I was selling some Novel Keys products at TwitchCon. So I had Gingham's kits for sale. I had Big Switches for sale. I had a couple desk mats for sale, some Novel Keys pins, and some Novel Keys Switch keycap pullers that are actually unreleased. I don't know if you guys saw my story, but Novel Keys has some Novel Keys branded uh, switch pullers now, or keycap pullers. It comes with a box jade, sorry, box navy, box jade, and a cream switch. So you can fidget as you're pulling your keycaps off. Yeah, pretty cool. Unreleased. Sold them for sold them at TwitchCon. And you can never have too many switch pullers. Keycap pullers, sorry. Yeah, so that's one of my helpers, Enome. My number two was right there on display for people to see. Took my gasket to below, number one revision one. Yeah. It's me on day one, looking all happy, full of energy, because I didn't realize what to expect. And then my feet slowly dust started dying afterwards. Uh, yeah, I had a bunch of stickers for people to grab. Took my Norba Force had GMK Striker on display, took my TGR A17Q, MK65 on display right there. Yeah. Oh. Okay, what next? Ah, yeah. Yeah, so that's the other view. So you can see that that's, that's an exit way path for people to just walk through. And then right there, that's the food court. So I had a prime, prime spot. Had some NK stickers out, type stickers. Took a couple of my personal desk mats. Yeah, just kind of let people type on everything. Yeah. Best booth in the house? I don't know about that. All right. Yeah, so the first people to stop by were uh, Ryuk or Ryan, he's a top ranked top 10 worldwide Osu player, I think, and his girlfriend Trina. So they were the first people to stop by, first friends to stop by. Yeah, yo, Ryuk is so tall. I was shocked, I didn't realize how tall he was. Um, TJ Brown, also a cool guy I met. He stopped by my booth. I didn't realize he was into my... I didn't know he watched me, but uh, he does great music. You guys should check him out. Yeah. He got his iPad Pro stolen, I think. Or he got something stolen. I saw his tweet. Yeah, it feels bad. If you guys find his... I think it was his iPad Pro. Go return it. Don't steal, man. <laughs> yeah, TJ also performed with uh, Albi, Foosley, Lunini and Sarah. So nice. Yeah, no sleep. Welcome back for two months. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Okay. Who else came? Oh, there's Cheongi right there. Cheongi. He is a he's a worldwide mod. You'll most likely run into him on other people's streams. He's mod. He mods a lot of people. So yeah, he flew in from London. Very cool. Uh, oh, Alice, hello, hello, hello. What else? Oh, yeah, so this is Andy Zero. That's what Andy Zero looks like. He's the guy who gave me the pen I was shopping, showing off earlier. Andy Zero, I think he also flew in from 
England, maybe? Yeah. Who else? Ah, there we go. That's the house pick. They stopped by my... They stopped by as well. Tyler kept me... He kept... Com I can't speak today. <laughs> yeah, but Tyler stopped by a lot to keep me company whenever there was downtime. That's Tyler on the right and Christopher Yi on the left. Yep, those were the guys I roomed with. I'm so white. <laughs> you are white, Tyler, so... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, we also... Yeah, we went out, yeah. Ooh, met Whoops. Whoops, the man stopped by my booth. It's Mr. Whoops right there. Did you see Carson? Who is Carson? These are some IRL friends of mine. Uh, Yuvern, he also streams. You guys should check him out. He streams, he's a really nice guy. That's his girlfriend. But uh, I also know them in real life. Known them for a couple years now, so yeah. They stopped by as well. Yo, Juan and Emily, hello, I haven't seen you in a while. Chris Carson. <laughs> Ooh, we had Mr. Aframu. Stop by Aframu. He got to type on my lubed um, Topra boards. I think he liked it. Still figuring out what to do with the uh, Afro's board. So hopefully that comes in the future. Ooh, Kiwi Kid. Who knows Kiwi Kid? So Kiwi Kid was actually uh, very, I think he was very into the keyboards. He came by twice. He came with Aframu and then the next day, I think Kiwi Kid brought Cutie Pie over to my booth as well. Cause uh, yeah, Ki I think Kiwi Kid really liked some of the stuff we had on display. Yeah, Kiwi Kid, nice. Kiwi got married? Yeah, I saw, yeah, I saw his uh, wife too. They both stopped by actually, yeah. Oof. We met Mr. Dizzy, the Apex Legend God. That's Mr. Dizzy over there. I think he actually won Twitch Rivals for Apex. I could be wrong. Didn't keep up, but um, Dizzy stopped by. Dizzy and Whoops, both previous customers of mine. And uh, yeah, it was great to meet them in person. Great to see my customers stop by. Tell me how much they like their keyboards. Who knows who this is? We have also raided her a couple times. That is Kigger. She is also a musician on Twitch. Kigger and her husband, Paige Turner. Great couple. Uh, she's a great singer as well. Yeah, she was a, she, Kigger was actually one of the first few friends I made on Twitch. I yeah, finally got to see them for the first time. I met them before they were married, when they were just engaged. So great to see them. Yeah, they're married now. They've been married for a while now, actually, so... Very nice. Wow, that's toxic, Pudsy. Think I have no friends, Pudsy? Some H-man. Uh, Wendy stopped by on day one as well. Natsumi, we've raided her a couple times too. Yeah, that's Wendy. My takeaway from that photo is I really like her. <laughs> uh, we also had Holly and Aaron Kim stop by. Uh, Holly streams. Aaron is a Twitch staff member. But he's in a lot of streams. Yeah, nice people. Nice folks. And then I also met uh, Naren. Naren is also someone I kind of know IRL, but also kind of don't know IRL. But yeah, got to see Naren in person. Naren also sings on Twitch. I don't think we've rated Naren yet. But yeah, you guys should check her out too. Ooh. 
So this is the partner lounge. They had a lounge just for partners. I didn't really go there other than to pick up my jersey because I didn't have time, but yeah, that's the partner lounge. They had food, they had Starbucks. Um, they had like couches and chairs you could sit on to take a break. Uh, it was pretty nice, pretty nice. Then we move on to day two. Just took some pictures of my business cards, stickers. That's the canoe back there with Telios. That's what was dropped. Oh, Mikey, it feels weird seeing you talk about all these people that I saw at the event. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we took a poll earlier, Alice. The majority of my chat did not attend TwitchCon, so thought I'd do a recap stream. Ooh, there's Albi. Albi stopped by my booth on day two. Uh, yeah, he stopped by right before his performance, his music performance. He, he performed music at TwitchCon, so. <laughs> Who's that? Yeah, who is this guy? Who is slightly musical? Unknown streamer. Some Instagram posts I posted on my stories. That's, that's the Alliance board, if you guys haven't seen the Alliance board. <laughs> oh, this is actually a new picture. Um, I, I met Jollymon at TwitchCon, guys. So Jollymon stopped by. And I don't know if Dixie's still here, but Dixie got an acrylic uh, display piece made by Jollymon out of acrylic. And then Jollymon came by day two to drop it off so we could use it. So yeah, that looks nice. Dixie knows how to do stuff. Um, Apiary Keyboards, thank you so much for the two months. Welcome back. Yeah, it looks nice. Uh, da, 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 da. What else, what else? Ooh, this is when I met Foosley. Foosley didn't know what I looked like. <laughs> she knew my name, but she didn't know what I looked like until I said hi to her. So we got a pic. Um, this was right before her performance. Yeah, she performed. They performed out. They had like a little patio outside where they were performing and people could just stop by and listen. Yeah, it's okay. I mean, just the fact that she knows my name is enough. And then now she knows what I look like, hopefully. We'll see. Jollymon is underrated when it comes to acrylic. Yeah, not a lot of people, especially the new people, probably have no idea who Jollymon is. Yeah. And then took a picture with Sarah as well before they performed. I couldn't, so I went. They were. They told me their performance was at 10.40. I went there at 11. They still hadn't performed. But I had to go back to my booth because my booth was popping. So yeah, but I just got pictures with them before I, before they performed and before I went back. But I'm sure, I'm sure their performance went well. Leslie, they don't know what you looked like, but you stream, you've been on Albi stream. Yeah, I don't know. She didn't know. She said she didn't know what I looked like until I said hi to her. So I was like, okay, that's cool. But she knew my name. Yeah. Sarah was making me laugh so hard at the Twitch party. Yeah, Twitch, Sarah's, Sarah's kind of funny. She has like that awkward, fun kind of humor. This is, I met Justin, also a worldwide mod. He mods a bunch of channels. He's a nice guy as well. Uh, I actually met Justin last time when I visited the offline TV house. So it was great to see Justin again. This is Ulite. Uh, Ulite is actually into keyboards. If you guys probably have seen Ulite in other uh, keyboard streams, I think Chubby's built a keyboard for Ulite. Um, that's Yuli. He stopped by my booth as well. You look so dead. Yo, day two, I was gone. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I KTFO'd every night. I, I legit... 
Man, boosting is so hard. Like, we can talk about that after I go through the pictures, but... I don't know if I'll booth again. <laughs> this is this is a Kappa word. Can we get some Kappas in chat? I met the face of Kappa. Also, surprisingly, Kappa was very into the keyboards. Like, Kappa stuck around for like a good... Like, 10 minutes, I think. And he, he went around trying everything. Yeah, he was actually like very interested. We'll see if we build a keyboard for Kappa or if he reaches up, but yeah, Kappa was like surprisingly really into keyboard. I think Kappa and Kiwi Kid, probably the two people that were like the most into the keyboards and my booth. That was really cool to see. Got to meet Mr. Mendo. Mendo's also a really nice guy. Um, Mendo also has, he uses customs, he also, he, uh, I believe he uses, he told me he purchased an acrylic tofu recently. Um, but yeah, Mendo actually is somewhat into customs. I don't know how his liquid sponsorship or being on liquid changes that now, but, um, yeah, I got to meet Mendo through Dizzy and we've been DMing each other for a while, but Mendo's a really nice guy. What game does he play? Mendo plays uh, Apex. Oof. When the man himself stopped pie. I'm a cutie pie. This guy, cutie pie was legit the first streamer I ever watched on Twitch. Yeah, Kiwi Kid brought uh, Cutie Pie. Uh, Lisa also came along, so I got to see Lisa. Yeah, Cutie's a big guy. He's like a tall guy. Uh, Sen9WF. How can I order a keyboard from you? I'm currently closed for commissions, but if you go to my website, there's a commissions page. Everything's commission based. Yeah. I ping all my socials when I um, open up for commissions. Ooh, okay. I don't think my chat knows who they are, but I also got to meet DJ Henny and Yansu Grace. Oh, someone knows who Unji is. Yeah, I got to meet them. They stopped by. It's pretty cool. Wait, Pudzi knows who Unji is? What the heck? I met our boy Beast Troll. Everyone knows who Beast Troll is in my chat, probably. Yeah, Beast Troll stopped by on day two. Finally met Ed after... All oh, right, I call him Ed. <laughs> yeah, finally met Ed after all these years. Ed was probably like the first big streamer to notice me. I wouldn't be where I am today without Ed. I don't know if he's watching, he's probably not watching. Oh, he's on a flight right now. Yeah, he's probably flying back home. But yeah. Uh, goalie Knight. Oh, I signed your badge? Oh, thank you. Thank you for asking me to sign it. Michael Reeves stopped by. Thank you, Tyler. I think Tyler brought Michael Reeves. Well, I took a picture with all three of them. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, Michael Reeves and Tyler. If you guys don't watch Michael Reeves, yo, his vod his videos are funny and legit. Michael Reeves. The man himself. The boys. Is that the guy from the Cursing Roomba? Yeah, he's the guy who made the Cursing Roomba. He does a lot of uh, those kind of videos. This is when Peter and Celine stopped by. Both nice people. I'm so happy Peter smiled from a picture. I low-key thought Peter was just gonna have his same uh, RBF face, but he smiled from my picture. Yeah, P they're both so nice. They're nice people. Vicky also came by. Uh, Vicky works at Streamlabs. She's the one who got hooked me up with the tour at Streamlabs. That's how I got to hang out with the Streamlabs folks. 
Yeah, Vicky's a nice person too. Michael frowned for every picture he took except ours. Oh, really? Dang. Did I meet Skara? Uh, oh, yeah. So I met Skara at the partner at the Twitch partner party, but he never stopped by my booth. Yeah, but I mean, I I figure I'll see Skara again in the future. I I am working on something with Skara already. Something something else. All right. So day this is the last day. We're on day 3 now. I didn't get to explore TwitchCon until day 3 <laughs> in the morning. So they had an expo hall downstairs. This is the entrance. Uh, we just had a bunch of uh, more legit and big companies, not small time artists like me. But yeah, I just went around taking some pictures. Uh, there was a TSM booth. I think that's Sea of Thieves. They had like their own corner. What? Oh, Audio Technica was also there. I was a little sad they didn't bring their. They only brought like their gamer headphones, but I wanted to try out like the HD800 and the HD800S. They didn't bring those sad times. Your voice is pretty gone? Yeah, my voice is gone, you know. Yeah. Uh, they had like people performing and chatting and you could just like sit on beanbag chairs to listen. Oh, that's the, this is the Stream Elements' his booth. They were the only booth to be a double decker. Oh wait, there's Sennheiser. Wait, GG, I'm stupid. I'm tired. <laughs> whatever the whatever the audio technica high end is. <laughs> Day three, um, I am part of the Stream Elements Dream Team. So the top floor, second floor was for VIPs and Stream Team, uh, Dream Team people only. That is a that is one of the founders of Stream Elements. So I got to meet him, take a picture with him. Uh, it was very he was very enthusiastic. Always great to see in a product. Yeah, I got to meet one of the founders of Stream Elements. Uh, this is the brunch that I'll be held for his uh, VIP and top supporters. We went to a little uh, diner, got some breakfast food, breakfast slash brunch food. There's Tyler, Flair, Cloud. Christopher, Raymond, Mitch, yeah. Albie looks like grass. I, I mean, Albie was pretty tired. I think most people were tired by day three, <laughs> assuming they went the other two days. Yeah, it was very tiring. Mitsu stopped by on day three after her Apex Rivals thing. I was so done. You, you, you looked done, Tyler. You also didn't get as much sleep as I did, so... Yeah. Sushi Dragon stopped by as well. Yo, legit? I feel like Sushi Dragon's just waiting to blow up. I mean, he's already a big streamer, but... Literally no one does what's the sushi dragon does and that that man's stream is like he's like years ahead of what anyone else is doing on twitch i i offered my help to him because if you guys don't know he literally does everything with just simple macros and hotkeys and he wears like multiple numpads on his arms so i said if you need to if you need help programming some of those macros and simplifying it uh, hit me up so we'll see if a collab comes out of that can you imagine if sushi dragon's stream is powered by qmk or via and he has he we just build him macro pads that can be programmed with via 
everything controllable. If he cuts down his macro keys in like half, can you imagine how much more creativity he can unlock? Not having to store all those macros in his brain. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, you still know how to code? <laughs> Feels bad. Um, yeah, day three, Albie and Lily both stopped by as well. Um, I was It was actually featured on Lily's stream. Lily was streaming it, but Lily came to my booth. Guys, Lily asked me a favor. I was, I was like, oh, Lily is asking me for a favor? What? But yeah, they needed a place to arm wrestle. So they, she came up to me. She was like, can I use your booth to arm wrestle someone real quick? And then she was IRL streaming herself, like arm wrestling her friends. It's on her, yeah, it's on her channel. If you guys are going to go watch, if you can find the timestamp. But um, if you guys watch Lily, you guys probably also know who Saikuno is. Got a pick with Saikuno. Saikuno knew who I was. I was like, what? Saikuno has an amazing voice. I'm kind of jealous of his voice. He has like a... I don't want to say generic, but he has like the quintessential anime voice. But like in a good way. Like his voice is so interesting and pleasant to hear. And just the way he speaks too. It's just like quintessential anime talking and voice. But like it's... Yeah, he's, he's interesting. I like his voice. Like him and Cairo Strand are two people I want to have the voices of. Oh! And then, look at this. Night Blue stopped by as well. Do you guys watch Night Blue? Yo. Night Blue was also super interested. Night Blue hung around my booth for quite a while. Uh, he was he was actually like really impressed with the keyboards. But yeah, he was very impressed. He also shared my pic of him on his Instagram story. So yeah, I don't know. Maybe it maybe a Night Blue build coming out in the future. We'll see what happens. And then last of my pictures. Megan Lee stopped by. We've raided Megan a couple times. Finally got to meet Megan in person. Oh yeah, we, we talked about you, Chortle. We talked about you too. I, I talked about you to her. Specifically, Chortle. And she knew who you were. Yeah. Yeah, I got to meet Megan. Uh, Von Mashu, thank you so much for the Switch Prime sub. This is good. Thank you so much for the five months. I'm digging them tapered jeans. Thank you. Don't know if I should be flattered. Uh, we talked smack about you. So I don't know if it's flattering. But, yeah. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Chortle. We both talked about how amazing you are and how you keep us alive and how much we appreciate you. Uh, you still using your big boy switches for scene switching? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Oh, wait, now this isn't straight. Crap. Uh, I am not building a keyboard today. Today's a short stream. Probably going to end the stream soon. Um, but yeah, reflections. Would I, would I join the Artist Alley next year? I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I would join the Artist Alley next year. Uh, as much fun as I had, and as cool as it was to see everyone come by, um, just getting to see everyone trying out the keyboards, everyone being impressed. It's rough. <laughs> it's rough, and also I had a little bit of anxiety with just how much money was out there in the booth. Um, so I couldn't really like leave the booth. Um, like I, I was invited to the stream labs brunch. I couldn't make to, to the brunch because I felt bad leaving my helpers there. Um, 
just answering questions just a lot because a lot of people don't know what exactly it is they're playing with so literally every we were just talking non-stop we didn't really have time to sit down I, either and then by the time the expo was over every night i was so tired i i i just didn't have the strength to go out and like network or hang out with people literally the first two nights I tried my best to go to, I was like, nope, I'm just gonna go home and KTFO. <laughs> so I KTFO, literally missed all the after party stuff. Um, I went to the TwitchCon party on the second day, stayed there for a little bit, and I was like, too tired, went home and just slept. Yeah. Will, I showed off the picture I took with you, Will, on stream. Yeah, so I don't, yeah, we'll see if I do the Artist Alley next year. This year specifically, I wanted to do it uh, for exposure purposes and marketing. Just letting to, just putting the word out there that you know this is what I do. This is what keyboards can be like. I'm hoping next year I'll be at a place where I won't need to get that kind of exposure or opportunity, I guess. And yeah, enjoy TwitchCon a little bit more. Hang out with folks and actually go to events yeah like i didn't have time to eat lunch until like pretty much a little before closing time every day because everyone were just the booth was constantly full i uh, didn't get to explore a lot of the stuff at the venue as well but even though i didn't get to do a lot of that i still had a lot of fun it was fun yeah Drunky, welcome back for two months. Yeah. So that was my first TwitchCon experience. Hard to enjoy the event when you're part of it, huh? I suppose, yeah. Yeah, that's a good point, yeah. TwitchCon died. <laughs> All right, shall we pick the winner? of the PC Alice is it time gonna drag you out next year <laughs> was there any other board that got scuffed after the con I don't think so I didn't really fully inspect everything but um, surprisingly there weren't no one like dropped anything other than that one drop it was too much for me alone yeah, it was a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. Ooh, another another surprising thing. A lot of the people who stopped by my booth, I expected a lot of young kids to come. But I think the majority of people who stopped by were older. I don't know if it's because people of age are more interested in the artist alley than like younger kids but boomer hobby <laughs> no no I, I think I think it's just more so that probably older people have more of an interest in the artist alley than like younger I feel like younger kids probably went there to meet like the celebrities to watch twitch rivals they didn't really come to like buy art or like look at art out there I feel like yeah I, f I found my canoe damage oh no I guess Enom's canoe took more damage than mine yeah young kids don't appreciate quality things either <laughs> yeah but I, I think overall TwitchCon it opened a lot of people's eyes as to how good and nice keyboards can be. A lot of people were interested, but they also didn't know the price tag of a lot of the keyboards. Like some people would ask, how much are these? A lot of people asked, but a lot of people also didn't ask. They just took my business card and they're like, yeah, we'll check you out. And then they'll probably be shocked when they see the price tag, but at least they know of the quality you can expect. Yeah. What were most people's reactions? No, I think the overall the reaction was great. 
yeah, like people were grabbing、um, all the business cards. They were asking a lot of questions. They were typing on everything.、Um, yeah, people were interested. Flying toilet. Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. How much is one of your keyboards? It is on my website. Please tell us you cleaned your board at the TwitchCon. I have not cleaned them yet. I got home last night around 11 30, knocked out. I woke up, unpacked, ate lunch, and then streamed. When you were away from the booth, this kid came up asking about prices, and we told him he just said, oh, and walked away. <laughs> I wonder if putting placards with a rough price of each one would make it better or worse for people molesting them. Oh, that was a thing, yeah. Some people were like kind of manhandling the keyboards. And then we told them the price and they were like, whoa. They were like, whoa, okay. <laughs> But,、um, yeah, I mean, I, I, I wanted people to lift keyboards, I wanted them to touch it. Like, wait. I say this on stream all the time weight doesn't indicate the quality of a keyboard, but it's a very tangible way to bring people into the hobby. Like when they lift it, it's a very quick and easy way for people who aren't in the hobby to understand okay, I can kind of see why it costs this much. Touch me, Kuroi says, I'll touch you if I ever see you. <laughs> I think people would steal if they know the price. Oh, that was another thing. People, like, there. I was personally anxious someone would steal, but people were very respective of, like, at least it didn't look like anyone was trying to steal. And then once the venue closed down, security was very strict. They kicked everyone out, and then we didn't really have to worry about taking keyboards home. So, yeah. Yo, if I, if I got a keyboard stolen, I would have been so sad. <laughs> They're too heavy to steal, that's true. Yeah. You also didn't have so many boards that it was hard to keep an eye on them. I had a lot of boards. I had around. I had at least like 10 to 12 keyboards out for people to try, so. Yeah. Yo, David! I had a friend of yours come by, name drop you. I forgot your friend's name, but I already know your friend stopped by. If the WoW Keebs got yoinked? Well, the WoW Keebs aren't mine. So, it's key cults. I, it's not on me. <laughs> If the Bowers got stolen, they're not my Bowers. It's kind of why I put them in the front. So if, it ever, if a keyboard ever got yoinked, it'd be from the front and not my personal keyboard. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I hope Dixie's not watching right now. Oh, crap, he's watching. <laughs> no, but yeah, Dixie, a lot of people had interest in Dixie's.、Um, if you guys want. If you guys want my personal interpretation of data. <laughs> a lot of people, the desk mats sold out instantly. Like, that was the first thing to go. A lot of people were looking for desk mats. A lot of people asked about, a lot of people asked about custom desk mats too. Like, they saw all the desk mats I had on display, and then they came up to me and they were like, Can I get custom desk mats where like, we provide the design and print it out for you? I said, no, I, I do know there is a service that already does that, but as far as like, enthusiast level goes, none of the vendors really provide that service. But yeah, a lot of people like the, 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 the desk mats. A lot of people asked about custom keycaps too. I had quite a bit of people come up and say, do you sell rubber keycaps? And I was like, ah. I know why you're asking about rubber keycaps. But yeah, a lot of the, a lot of the normal folks want rubber keycaps.、Uh, I was like, ah, sorry, not really. <laughs> We don't do rubber keycaps, just,、uh, just GMK. <laughs>、um, 
A lot of people also asked about Bluetooth. A lot of people were looking for Bluetooth and I said we don't really do Bluetooth. But I feel like if someone hops onto Bluetooth that might be a good selling point. Um, a lot of people liked the compactness of 60% keyboards. I think 60% was probably the most popular layout that was asked for. Um, yeah. Noise Bite, thank you so much for the three months. Welcome back. And Zane. Four nine seven eight. Welcome back for four months. Any upcoming boards that you're excited for? You know, I couldn't tell you. I haven't been keeping up with keyboard news the past couple of weeks. I've been so busy. I know the Iron One Sixty Five is going live next month. I don't know what else. Yeah, I need to. I need to catch up on keyboard news. Uh, the 7V looks nice by Gawk. What else? Not sure, yeah. Alright. Is it time to pick a winner for the Alice? Where's my tweet about the Alice? So, for those of you guys who are unaware, oh, Cheyangi, hello! I am giving away a polycarbonate TGR Alice, an official polycarbonate TGR Alice. Um, I, I read the forums after I announced it. Um, this, is, this is not an indication of TGR running a group by fourth. I have no idea if they will actually run a group by for the polycarbonate Alice because the failure rate of getting this built is actually pretty high and I don't know if Yuxi is up for it. He might have to charge more. I'm not sure. Yeah. So I can neither conform, confirm nor deny that there will be a polycarbonate Alice TGR group by happening anytime soon. But uh, he made one specifically just for me to give away for you guys. I don't even have this myself. So I'm kind of sad. I want to keep it. We're going to pick a winner. Failure rate of polycarbonate boards over 50%. Yeah, so just to get this one keyboard made, um, I, think, I think we had a batch of like three or four made. And that single one is the only one that survived. Um, if, if two or more had survived, I was going to build one on stream for myself and then give the other one away. But that one is the only one that ended up surviving. Surviving. So yeah, polycarbonate, uh, the failure rate is really high for manufacturing. I need to claim royalty on the I will neither confirm nor deny. Wait, is, that's not your quote, is it? What do you mean claim royalty? <laughs> Uh, Brother Core, welcome back for four months with a tier two sub. Thank you. Is it one of a kind? Uh, for now, yes. For now, that is the only polycarbonate TGR Alice to float around in the wild. There might be private ones, but this is the first one that was open for the public. Yeah, I, I would assume there's private ones. All right, so there's this thing called Tweet Draw. Oh, I have to log in. Wait, hold on. I can't leak. Okay, I have to log into Twitter. <laughs> uh... All right, so I logged in. All I have to do is Paste. What? 
You can go to pick draw to draw a mobile. Crap. Do I have to pay for this? Oh my gosh. How many entries do I have? <laughs> hmm. How do I pick a winner? All right. I'll have to think of something. How do people do Twitter giveaways? This is my first Twitter giveaway I've ever held. Hmm. Time to Google how to pick, how to hold a Twitter giveaway. See if this will oh what I have to disable ad block fine I'll disable ad block yo I think Crow is trying to hack me Don't use it, it's only a hundred retweets. Damn, okay, I guess I can't use this. Twitter giveaway winner picker. Well, the worst in the worst case, well, I, I do use U Block Origin. That's what I meant. It's just easier to say Ad Block than say U Block Origin. Pie Hole. I've never heard of Pie Hole. Yeah, I'll probably just have to. Pick out all the usernames and <sighs> gotta do what I do for Instagram giveaways, I guess. Well, I'll post it later. I was gonna do it live on stream, but how many retweets did you get? We got 4.3 thousand retweets. Give away it in the mod channel. Google search hits are providing me with anything useful. Yeah, I'll, I'll do something. I just can't do it live on stream. I'll still announce it later tonight. So just follow me on Twitter. I'll, I'll tag the winner as well and post it on my Twitter. Sorry guys, I didn't realize 
Yeah, they make doing giveaways with Instagram and Twitter so hard now. Like you'd think it's easy to scrape Instagram data or there's tons of apps out there that just scrape Instagram data for you, but there's actually not a lot. <laughs> the companies want that money and that data, I, I guess. City months and many more to come. Like for me, when I do Instagram giveaways now, I have to literally keep scrolling until all the people who like my post show up on the list. I just copy that entire list and then paste it into whatever text editor and then I just pick a random number from there. Yeah, I'll, I'll think of something off stream. But Water Raccoon, welcome back for three months. And Pudsy, welcome back for nine months. Loki Wolf, thank you so much for the five months. Yo Soyez, welcome back. Thank you so much for the Switch Prime sub. Brother Core, thank you so much for the tier two sub for four months. All right. Well, I have to head out. Probably call it the end of the stream for now. Any last questions, comments? Sarah streaming? Should we go give Sarah a raid? Yeah, yeah, that's what I do, Gandalf. I just dump the names into, or at least for Instagram, I just dump the names into. You don't even need an Excel spreadsheet, you just dump it into something like Sublime with line numbers and you just pick on the random number. Yeah. Alright, let's go get... What's Sarah doing? Is she IRL streaming? Yeah, we can give Sarah a raid. How do you... S Avocado peeled. All right. Any last questions, comments, concerns? Yeah, build streams will continue. Uh, I'm also having a guest sometime this week, uh, a keyboard guest. So you guys probably want to not miss that. I'll post more details uh, as it gets solidify it, but it's going to be a a well-known keyboard guest with a new product we're going to see it live he's going to bring it what could it be who could it be but yeah we're going to have a keyboard guest live in this room next to me not a voice call so that should be fun um but yeah I still don't have a set schedule, I'm trying to decide what the set schedule is going to be. But thank you everyone for watching today. I will see you guys all. We'll see if I stream tomorrow. But yeah, thank you so much for listening today. See you guys all next time. See ya nerds.